in this video tutorial i'm going to explain how you can draw the orbital diagram of any regular element in the periodic table in other videos I've, I've explained how to write the electron configuration and the abbreviated form of electron configuration which is known as noble gas notation and today i'm going to talk about the orbital diagram so sometimes uh, in questions that you get in chemistry they ask you write the orbital diagram notation of element x element y so how is that different actually it's still the same it is an electron configuration but the way we are representing it we are representing it by drawing boxes squares so orbital diagrams use a square to represent each orbital and a half arrow to represent each electron in the orbital okay so uh in the periodic table that we have as you can see here also in this figure i have uh, squares representing s orbitals p orbitals d orbitals and f orbitals but they're not shown in this figure so i can draw s like this and i can draw x with a one box the p is made up of three degenerate orbitals px py and pz so we say p has a three orbitals d has five orbitals one two three four and five five degenerate orbitals and f seven so that's the f one two three four five six and seven one two three four five six and seven yes so seven degenerate orbitals so when filling the electrons in those orbitals we start we follow of course the three rules of Bohr principle Pauli exclusion principle and Hans rule I'll be explaining those rules in a separate video so we start filling the orbital the electrons from the lowest to the highest and as you can see here in the figure one s is the lowest then comes the 2s a little bit higher the 2p 3s 3p 4s then the 3d okay so it's not always the order that you expect we have to follow the periodic table and then uh, for uh, 3d 4p and then 5s followed by the 4d so let's start giving some examples saying you are asked to write the electron the the orbital diagram of lithium with the three electrons so we start by order the electron configuration of lithium shows that the electrons are distributed two electrons in the 1s and one electron in the 2s so you draw the orbital diagram of 1s and of 2s and you put two electrons in 1s one half arrow pointed upward and one half arrow pointing downward okay and then the 2s1 with one upward another example for carbon carbon has six electrons so the configuration shows that those electrons are distributed as follows 1s2 2s2 2p2 so i draw the 1s which is a box with two opposite uh, spins or two opposite uh, half arrows direction and then the 2s and then the 2p so uh, I start one electron and then one electron according to uh, Hans rule uh, according to those three rules that I'm gonna be talking about in a separate video you cannot pair the electrons you first have to put to put each half arrow singly and then if you have more arrows more electrons you start pairing up these are some other examples of other elements like beryllium boron so four electrons that's how would be the orbital diagram five electrons so we finish from the 2s and then we put one more electron in the p now i'm going to give you some other examples and we write it together the orbital diagram of sodium in the periodic table sodium has 11 electrons so the configuration is going to be two electrons in the 1s so it's going to be 1s2 we always start one upward one downward those two electrons down nine remaining then two more in the 2s seven electrons remaining 
And then how do we distribute the seven electrons in the 2p? P can only take up to six electrons. So we start single electrons. And then we start pairing up the electrons with six electrons. So one electron remaining. And that one electron will go in the 3s. So that's going to be 3s1. And this is the orbital diagram of sodium. Let's take another example of chlorine with 17 electrons. So we're going to do the same as we did the sodium. So 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. I want you to pay attention to the way I'm drawing the electrons in the p. I first start single electrons, and then I start pairing up. So here we go. We distributed 10 electrons out of the 17 so far, so 7 remaining. So again, two more electrons in the 3s, five electrons remaining. And when it comes to 2p, we put the electrons as follow. One, two, three, four, and five. That's it. This is the orbital diagram of Cl. Now let's take the last example of iron with 26 electrons. I'm going to do the same thing that I did to Cl. So I'm going to copy until the 3p so here i have 1s2 2s2 pay attention to the way i'm gonna draw the uh, arrows in the 2p single electrons and then i pair up the arrows so so far we did 10 electrons 16 remaining now two more electrons 14 remaining and then six more in the 3p so six more in the 3p so now i have i have eight electrons remaining so after the 3p6 i'm gonna distribute two in the 4s so six remaining and one two three four five and six that's at 26 electrons in iron. And this is the uh, orbital diagram notation of iron. If you have more questions, any comments, please write it down below the video.